Can you tell my hair looks a little bit different today? It's definitely a lot fuller and more voluminous. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a fuller look, especially if you have low density hair like mine. I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step wash day routine for a fuller, more voluminous look. I wanted to thank Keratin for partnering with me for this video. I'm going to be using products from Keratin Hair Care. It's a new brand to me that I had never tried out before, and all of their products are designed to help with damage repair. They're also moisturizing. They contain natural ingredients, and they also gave me a code that I can share with you all for 15% off, so you can get some money off your order if you end up being interested after seeing this. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I try and simplify things for beginners. I love talking about product ingredients and problem solving with curls so that everyone can achieve healthy hair. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you have seen any of my videos before, you know that I love a stronger hold. I like a lot of definition. I like that curl structure and I really like styles that are going to last a while throughout the week. But sometimes with stronger hold products, especially if you have low density hair, you can really lose volume sometimes and you might lose fullness. I actually recently posted a video all about how to get stronger hold. So you could implement any of these tips in this routine if you wanted to get stronger hold, but this look is going to be a light to medium hold so that way you get that fullness. It's definitely a softer look than what I normally have. Lots more movement to my hair and a lot more fullness. So let's go ahead and get started with the wash day routine. So I've already dry detangled my hair. I highly recommend trying it if you have damaged hair to prevent breakage. So the first product I'm going to use is the Keratin Freshening Conditioner. I actually like using conditioner first to further detangle my hair because my hair gets pretty tangled when I shampoo. So this just helps it provide a protective coating on the hair, remove any tangles, that way I can better shampoo my hair and really get down to the scalp when I'm shampooing. This conditioner has a lot of slip. You can see how easy that I detangled because when you get your hair wet after dry detangling, it does still have some tangles just from it changing that structure. This conditioner helps to hydrate over processed hair, rebuild hair strands, and help reduce frizz. So after conditioner, I go straight into shampoo. This is the Keratin Freshening Shampoo. This shampoo has a creamy, milky color to it. It's definitely on the hydrating side, but also is really great at actually cleansing the hair. The shampoo is designed to help stimulate hair growth by unclogging hair follicles while also moisturizing the scalp and reversing damage that can be caused by chemical contact, the environment, and product buildup. I love that they really focus on keeping the scalp clean and the hair follicles unclogged because excessive buildup over time it can prevent your hair from growing. It can also cause excess shedding and other scalp issues. So y'all know I love digging into ingredients, so let's take a look at some of the ingredients that are in the shampoo and conditioner. Apple stem cells is one of the key active ingredients which helps promote hair growth by stimulating dormant hair follicles on the scalp. I've never heard of a shampoo and conditioner that does that, so that's very interesting. I also see where these have sea kelp extract, which help strengthen and nourish the scalp and also provide hydration and then coconut oil and also rosemary oil. Coconut oil is rich in fatty acids, it's antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial, and then rosemary oil can also help with hair thickness and hair growth. Usually after I shampoo, I will either go in with the conditioner again or I will do a deep conditioning mask. I'm actually gonna be doing the mask out of the shower, so right now I'm just gently finger detangling my hair and then wrapping it up in my hair repair towel. I like how the shampoo is not too stripping. I was able to still get my hands through my hair after I finish shampooing and rinse it out. So now I'm going to apply the Keratin Freshening Mask. So this is a deep conditioner. It contains avocado oil, sea kelp extract, coconut oil, and rosemary oil. So some similar ingredients to the shampoo and conditioner. This is silicone free, doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, any of that. The avocado oil is supposed to help actually penetrate deep into the hair follicle for long lasting nourishment. And also avocado oil is rich in vitamin E, which helps stimulate hair growth and is a good antioxidant. So here I'm just combing that through my hair to make sure it is fully evenly coated. And I'm just going to clip my hair up out of the way. That way I can go and finish up my makeup. It says to leave it on for about five minutes before rinsing it out. And it also mentions that you don't want to use it too much, no more than twice a week because it is rich in protein. So you don't want to overdo it. That's probably also why it says to not leave it on too long. 
So now that I'm back after finishing up my makeup, I'm going to take my hair down and then go rinse it out with warm water first and then finish off with some cool water. Then I wrapped my hair up in my hair repair towel again and I'm ready to style. So I'm first going to apply the Keratin Leave-In Conditioner. I've been loving this leave-in conditioner because it has a lot of slip to it, it provides a lot of moisture and it even helps to start to define your curls before you actually style with a gel. So this has shea and mango butter in it, so it's very moisturizing. It also has marshmallow root extract and silk amino acids. Those are two ingredients that I've talked about a lot, especially if you have very tangly hair because they provide a lot of slip. They also smooth and reduce frizz and they provide a protective lipid layer on your hair, which I did learn from reading about this product. This is also glycerin free, it's silicone free, so that's great if your hair is sensitive to glycerin in the summertime. So now I'm going to be sectioning off my hair, that way I can more evenly apply the gel. The gel is a lighter hold, so if you guys have heard me talk about how to get stronger hold, I recommend applying it in sections so you can apply it more liberally. This is the Keratin Styling Gel. This has cellulose, which is a natural ingredient that smooths and softens curls. It does not contain any alcohol in it. It doesn't have any silicones. It does have aloe vera, which helps restore and hydrate the curls, which is a film forming humectant. So it is going to create that film on your hair that provides a lot of shine and definition. It also has six different nourishing oils that help add shine as well. It also has the marshmallow root extract and silk amino acids that help smooth and reduce frizz. So it gives it a lot of slip. I love the amount of slip that this gel has. So the next product I'm going to be layering on is the Keratin Volumizing Mousse. This is actually a foam product and foams are a little bit more watery compared to mousse products. This foam is supposed to help plump up the hair and provide a lot of volume. It also has a little bit of hold to it in texture, which is why I wanted to layer it in this look to just give my hair some more hold because that gel is very light hold. It doesn't really provide any lasting hold, so I wanted to add this mousse in. I also added in the Root Volumizing Spray, which also has some holding ingredients, so I was hoping that would also provide some additional hold. This Root Volumizer is supposed to help also provide volume in fullness, and it also has long-term scalp and hair health benefits, so you can spray this onto your scalp. This has sugar starch, which helps coat each strands and provide a fuller appearance, so this does give you that texture to your hair. It also has lemon and witch hazel extract, which help dissolve excess oil in between washes, so you could use the spray on refresh days as well. So now I'm moving on to the next section and I'm going to go in that same order. So first applying the gel, then a little bit of the mousse and then some of the spray. You can totally just use one or two of these products. You don't have to have all three. I've tried just using the gel, but as I mentioned, the gel doesn't have any ingredients that provide hold. It does have film forming humectants, which do help give some definition and shine. But as we've talked about in previous videos, you do need some type of holding ingredient to help give your hair a little bit of hold if you want it to last longer. The mousse contains copolymer VPVA, which is going to provide a little bit of hold and texture. And the root volumizing spray has copolymer VPVA as well, and also malodextrin VP copolymer. So you can check out my previous video if you want to learn more about holding ingredients, but this routine is focused on a very soft, fluffy, and volumized look. So after scrunching in all three products on the middle layer, I'm moving on to the top layer and doing the same routine. First, applying the gel, and in this section, I'm really focused on pulling the hair up and away from the scalp. I ended up splitting it into two sections and I'm brushing it up and away from my scalp. I like doing this for root lift and root volume, and it also helps to cover my scalp in the back because I do have low density hair, so I do have to try and focus on getting the hair to fully cover the scalp in the back where the hair can be a little bit more sparse. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my hair. And you might notice I didn't actually use a styling brush to create ringlets like I typically do because I really wanted to see how these products would work without a ton of curl manipulation. I did use my um, Menia brush though just to help detangle and distribute product, but I didn't actually use a curl defining or styling brush. I wanted to be able to show you how these products can still define curls without doing that brush styling technique that you might've seen me do before. So after I'm done applying all my styling products, I took my hair repair towel and just gently scrunched in that front section. I kind of felt like there was a lot of water in this section and I find that when you apply these products to damp hair versus soaking wet dripping hair, you get more hold. That is one of the tips that I shared in that other video about how to get stronger hold is to apply your products to damp hair versus wet. So I just felt like I had too much water in my hair. I didn't want it to take forever to dry when I was diffusing. So I just scrunched out a little bit, but I did go in with a second layer of the mousse and the hairspray because when you scrunch with a towel 
and remove some excess water, you're likely also removing product as well, which can reduce your hold. So here's how my hair is looking after all the products are in. I don't have any wet frizz, which is great. I'm gonna go diffuse my hair and I'll show you how my hair looks when it's dried. So now my hair is probably about 95% dry. I'm gonna let it finish air drying. You can see that I do have some frizz if you look closely. As I mentioned, these are light hold products, so I have a very, very light cast in my hair. There is some halo frizz going on. So I'm just gonna show you how you can touch that up very easily. I'm spraying a little bit of the Keratin Root Volumizer Spray into my palms and just smoothing over any frizzy areas. By applying that root volumizing spray to dry hair, you actually get more hold out of it that way. Just a couple of tips if you have low density hair like me, I always like to check the back with a handheld mirror to make sure my scalp is covered. And I like to separate any really chunky curl clumps that are making my hair look thinner. Anytime you have too many clumps, especially on the bottom layer, it can just make it look stringy and too clumped together and you don't get that fullness. So I'm just separating them gently. So these are my final results. As you can see, I do have a lot of volume, a lot of fullness, and I have still tamed the frizz by using that mousse and by using that spray. I think the spray is what really gave my hair the most hold, especially when I used it to touch up some frizzy areas. I definitely got the most amount of hold when I applied that to dry hair. So I feel like I have a little bit of a cast going on around this area, but overall it does feel very soft. I do have a texture to my hair, so I can tell that I have product in my hair. It has that texture, which can actually help with giving you that grit to give you some volume and also help with the structure of the curls. So it doesn't feel completely product free. Like I can tell that there is, you know, like that foam in my hair. When I just use the styling gel though, I don't get that texture at all. I just have that very smooth, soft feeling to my hair after styling with just the gel. So I am going to show you how this holds up throughout the day. So one of the downsides to having soft hold product is sometimes it doesn't last as long throughout the day and especially on next day hair, you will have to refresh. So this is not necessarily a routine where it can just get you through the whole week with no refreshing. I do still have to refresh and sometimes even by the end of the day, my hair has started to frizz up. If you are in a humid area, I would recommend checking out their hairspray that they have on the site. I haven't gotten to try it yet, but I was reading about how that can help block humidity. They have like an aerosol type of hairspray that can help seal in a frizz and block humidity. So I'm about to go out and run some errands and I will show you how my hair looks after I get back tonight. So it is currently about 1 p.m. The humidity though is 50% and the dew point is 66% outside. So it is within that range where your hair could frizz up um, with certain ingredients. So we will see how my hair holds up today since it is in that humidity range. So just so you guys can get the full picture on how these will work if you live in a humid environment. Hey also, it's been about eight hours now. It's now at 9 p.m. at night and I've been outside the majority of the day running in and out of stores and stuff. Also was laying around on the couch. So I just wanted to show you how my hair is looking after about eight hours of wear. Now, as I mentioned, these lighter hold products do not hold up throughout a very long day or throughout next day hair, you do have to refresh. It definitely softens up, which is why I don't scrunch out the crunch when I do this routine. Um, I don't really have any casts in my hair at all, but I do still have curl definition, which is nice. So my curls don't fall loose or flat, but um, they definitely get frizzy. So the camera's always really forgiving with frizz. So I wanted to show you in some different lighting using my phone because the studio lights, as I said, can really camouflage a lot of how it looks and a lot of the frizz and stuff. So I did want to show you how it does really soften up after the end of the day. So you get this like softer, more fluffy look. I definitely have a lot of clumps, which is surprising without using a brush to style my hair. I have a lot of clumps going on that I would definitely need to separate when I refresh to make it look fuller, especially underneath. But this area, as I mentioned, for me is higher porosity and a lot coarser. This is very coarse through here and also through here where I have grays. And so those, as you can see, are the ones that don't tend to hold their shape as much. You can tell how much fuller that it looks. So it really does soften up and get fuller throughout the day. So that can definitely be a good thing if that's what you're going for. You get lots of volume. It's very, very soft. Like it doesn't feel crunchy or anything like that. So yeah, that's my results after eight hours of wear. So that is it for this wash day routine. I'm going to be summarizing all of these steps and have a written review of these products over on the blog post that goes with this video. So I will have the link for that down below. And don't forget about the Keratin discount code that will get you 15% off your order. I will have that in the description box down below along with the link to their site if you wanna check them out. Keratin is also known for their hair growth serums and their hair growth 
supplements and their products that are focused on damage repair. So I think it will be a really great brand if you are transitioning, if you do have damage. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would love to see you back next week. And also make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I post a lot of reels over there, lots of quick tips. So that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you in next week's video. Bye everyone. Thank you.